So let's have a talk about your 1 million disorganized photos. You really believe that someday you're going to go through them, delete a bunch, free up storage. Now the problem is you still want to make slideshows and photo books and share your photos online, make shared albums for your loved ones. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that and accept the fact that you love taking photos and you will never stop. Before getting started on your photo organizing journey, I'll show you a couple quick tips to make it easier to organize your photos. Uh, one is to make the photos app bigger by just dragging the right side further to the right. That will reveal the sidebar on the left here. If you're in an older version of the photos app, you just need to go to the view menu and then you can say show sidebar. Uh, I also like to make the thumbnails a little bit bigger. So you just drag this little slider up here and then make sure you're in the all photos section here so that you can see the entire chronology of all of the photos in this photos library. Um, make sure you don't have any filters turned on so that it is set to show all items instead of showing some subset of all of the photos. And lastly, I really recommend having photos syncing from your iPhone through iCloud photo library to your computer. That can get pretty technical pretty quickly. So if that's not currently happening, just reach out to us and we can help you get that going. When I've taken a ton of photos, my first step is always to mark favorites. So I have to put the little white uh, heart on the photo and then that makes it easier to delete photos in between them or bad photos or to delete ones that are duplicated because one of these four here will be the one that I've marked as my favorite. When you mark something as a favorite, it goes into the favorites section on the left here. So you get quick access to those photos. And a really cool and quick way to do that is to just use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So you can go left, right, down, up, etc., and press the period key on the keyboard uh, to mark something as a favorite. You see the little white heart has appeared here now. Um, you can also press the, the favorite button up here. So if I'm looking at these and I want to mark one as a favorite, you can just click that. If I wanna make these bigger so I can actually compare them more easily, just press the space bar on the keyboard and that will give a, a zoomed in view. And then you can again use the arrow keys to go left to go back in time and you use the right arrow to go forward in time. Uh, and I like this one the best, so I just press period on the keyboard and then hit spacebar again to zoom out again. And now this one has the heart on it. Uh, when I'm doing this, I'm going through and marking things as favorites. I also will rotate photos if they're not rotated correctly. So to do that, I do that on the keyboard with command R. So you just click on the photo that you want to rotate, press command R and it will rotate at 90 degrees. So any photos that are not rotated correctly, you can catch those as you go. Now that your photos are marked with hearts, the ones that you wanna keep, you have the super fun and satisfying task of deleting the ones in between. To delete a photo, you can just click on it and then press the delete key on the keyboard and then press return to select this blue button here. So that photo is gone forever. And if you want to delete a bunch of photos, just hold the command key on the keyboard and you can select multiple photos to delete duplicates easily. And I just press delete and then press return on the keyboard. Really quick to delete photos. Uh, if you wanna see the bigger version of the photo before deleting it, you can just hit spacebar, go left, go right, hit the delete key on the keyboard and press return. So you can get through a lot of photos really quickly just by using arrow keys, spacebar, and the delete key on the keyboard. An important note is there's a really big difference between deleting photos from your main photos section in the library versus deleting them from an album. If you delete something from an album, you're not actually deleting the original photo. It will still be in your main photos section. Uh, so if I just hit delete, that photo is now gone from this album, but it's still in my main photos list. If you want to fully delete something from an album, you have to click on the photo and hold the command key and press delete. And that will actually delete the original photo. Now, if you're like me, you take a lot of selfies and a lot of screenshots and not 
all of them are good or useful. Uh, to delete those quickly, you just go to the album section here and look for media types and expand that. And you can look at selfies here in this section and screenshots here. When you delete stuff from here, it will actually delete the original from your main photos library. So you just hold the command key and click on the ones that are duplicates or rejects, and then just press the delete key on the keyboard and press return to delete it. Uh, with screenshots, normally you can just go edit, select all, and then press delete and delete all of them. If you need to keep specific ones, then just hold command and deselect certain ones that you want to keep. Now that you've marked your favorite photos and you've deleted the ones you don't want, it's time to make albums. And when you make an album, it shows up in your list of albums under my albums down here. The slow way of adding a photo to an album is just dragging it from here down into the album. Uh, and you can make a new album by hovering your mouse over here and hitting the plus sign. Uh, I prefer to do it a faster way. And it starts by making the selection of photos first. So I would click on the first one and then hold the shift key on the keyboard and then click on the last one that I want to turn into an album. And if I want to deselect individual photos, I would command click on specific photos and then just go to the file menu and say new album with selection. And you can do that with way more photos too. You can click on the first one, scroll down a ways and then shift click on the last one and then go file new album with selection. So when you do that, you can give it a name and then all of these photos will show up in this album and this album will also sync through iCloud to your phone. So now you'll have access to that from your phone. And if you wanted to add more photos to that album afterwards, you can just drag them in this way. Another really great way to do a photo album is to do a search. So I want all of the photos that I took in Lugano, Switzerland. So I'll click on this first one here that has 45 photos and then click to see all. So here again, I can click on the first photo and then scroll down and shift click on the last. Uh, or you can go to the edit menu and say select all and then just go file new album with selection and then it shows up here under the list of albums and you give it a name Lugano. So now this photo album will show up on my phone and I'll be able to show it to friends and family. Now it happens quite often that you'll end up with some albums that you don't need anymore in your list of albums. Uh, maybe there are things that you don't care about that happened in the past. Uh, maybe it's albums that got created automatically by an app like Instagram or WhatsApp. Or maybe it's albums that got imported from iPhoto, from an old computer or something like that. Uh, the slow way of deleting an album is by right clicking it or a two finger click on the laptop and then just choose delete album. And if you do that, it will remove it from here. If you want to delete them faster or in bulk, if you click on the My Albums header here, then the albums will show up in the main section, the main viewer here, and you'll see the numbers. This has zero photos, this has zero photos. These ones have photos, so I don't want to delete those. And then same as with selecting multiple photos, just hold the Command key on the keyboard and click on the albums that you want to delete and then just press the delete key on the keyboard and it will get rid of those. In the iPhoto events, same thing here. Let's say you want to delete some of these, but not all of them. You just click on the iPhoto events header like this. And then now you can see the albums that are within that folder. And then just command click on the ones that you want to delete uh, and hit the delete key and those will be gone. Uh, so it's a really quick way to clean up and delete albums in bulk. If you ever make a mistake, uh, you have a little screw up, a little happy accident that you want to undo. Maybe you delete some photos that you didn't mean to delete. Uh, you drag some things into the wrong place or delete an album that you didn't want to delete. You usually have the option to undo. You can get to that by going to the edit menu and then choosing undo. Uh, the keyboard command for it is command Z. This will work in most cases. There are certain specific actions that don't allow an undo and the Mac will usually warn you if you're about to do something that can't be undone. So just make sure to 
read messages, of course, proceed with caution. But uh, if you do have an accident, most things can be undone. Once you've marked your favorite photos and you've deleted the ones that you don't need anymore and your photos library is looking much cleaner and with only the photos that you care about, there's some really cool stuff that you can do with uh, searching uh, and making new albums. So if I wanted to just go into favorites, I can select all of these photos and then go file and new album. And this could become a slideshow or whatever I want it to be. If I go into the main photos list, I can do a search for a place. I can do a search for France and check out all of the photos from France and say, see all on these and then command A to select all of these and then go file and new album with selection again. So then I'll have a France photo album. Uh, another really cool way to do a photo album of a place is to click on places on the left here. And this will actually give you a map and show you where you've taken photos. And so I wanted to capture everything, everything from Portugal and uh, Spain. If I just click on these 867 photos here, then I can just go edit, select all, and then file new album with selection just to capture Portugal and Spain. You can also do searches for food. If I just do the word food here, the Photos app will recognize things that are food and I'll be able to look at all of the meals that I had. I can turn that into an album. Uh, you can search for cat and dog and all kinds of things. Just experiment with that. You can also search for dates. If I want to go to the main list of photos, I can do a search for June of 2019 and there's 578 photos there. Once you master selecting and highlighting and making albums uh, and searching, the world is your oyster. If you ever have photos that are out of date order in your main photos list, uh, maybe they were scans that you imported or maybe a digital camera had the wrong date set, that's a quick fix. Uh, you just click on the photo that you want to adjust then you go to the image menu and adjust date and time. You can also do that with multiple photos. So you can select a batch of photos and then go to the image menu and adjust date and time. And from here you can put in the new date and then they will all jump up to the correct place in the chronology of your main photos list here. Let's say that you have albums that are out of order. If you just do a right click or a two finger click on this uh, my albums section here, You've got the option to sort uh, by oldest first or newest first or name, whatever you prefer. So if I go oldest first, then it'll put them in chronological order. Within an album, you have the option to change the order of photos just by dragging them around. So if I drag this one to here or drag it to here, then those will stick now. It will remember that. Uh, but if I ever want to fix within an album the chronological order, just go to the view menu and then sort and keep sorted by oldest first. And so that will actually fix the chronological sorting within an album. Once your photos are all clean and you've got your albums created on the left, there's some really great options for showing them off and sharing them. If you just uh, click on the album, you can create a shared album that you can email to somebody and they would be able to see it as a really beautiful website. You just hit the little uh, share square here, and then you can go to uh, choose shared album. So it's gonna share these 45 photos to shared albums. And then you'll have the option to create a new shared album and then give it a name. And then here you can put the email addresses of the people that you want to invite to the album. Uh, if they have a Mac and an iPhone, uh, it will offer to add it into their photos library under the shared albums section. If they don't have a Mac or an iPhone, then they'll get it as a website that they can check out that's really beautifully laid out. If you wanna do a slideshow, uh, again, just click on the album that you wanna do the slideshow uh, within. And then if you want a quick slideshow, you can just click this little slideshow button here, you'll get some options for themes and you can choose your music as well. If you want to create a slideshow that you'll have more control over some specific settings, just do a right click on the album name here and then go to create and then slideshow and choose the photos app. 
and then you can give it a name here. Uh, once the slideshow is created, then you'll have more options and, and specific settings. So you can choose a different theme, you can choose different music, and there's some more timing and transition type settings here. Uh, if you want to turn one of these albums into a photo book, you'll need to get a third party app, but Apple makes that easy. You just do a right click and then go create and go to book and it sends you to the app store. And then within here, it'll recommend a few different apps that it, these are basically plugins that go into the photos app. Um, I have direct experience with Mimeo Photos and it works great, it's easy to use and it, it looks like what you're familiar with in the Photos app. So you can just click Get to get that app and then it'll install and link up with your Photos app and just follow the on-screen instructions for that and you'll be able to do a book layout in a really simple and intuitive way. I really hope this was helpful. Uh, if you need help with anything from this video, please reach out and uh, book a consult with us. We can help you with iCloud Photo Library, getting that working, the uh, facial recognition with the, the people section in photos, uh, with the memories uh, feature and function, importing photos, how do smart albums work and how can you use them effectively. Same with keywords, how to do that, um, any kind of pro searching that you need to do. Uh, maybe you've got multiple photo libraries that need to be merged uh, or importing photos from external hard drives, old hard drives. Maybe you've got some major duplicate problems that you need help cleaning or whatever the new needs are and problems are in coming years. Please head to our website, macinhome.com, and either I, Lucas, will help you or an excellent member of my team will help you wherever you are in the world. So... Go forth and take those thousands or tens of thousands of photos and enjoy the out of your photos library. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you want professional one-on-one -on -one help with the tips in this video or with anything else in your Mac lifestyle, head to macandhome.com to schedule a consult. Are you, what are you doing? Getting the temperature right. Oh. <laughs> Because from this angle, all I can see <laughs> was missing. Is that it's it's just... like, oh, okay. it's like That's having awesome. a stroke. <laughs> <laughs>